We are back in the house. I'm just gonna wash my hands real quick. I'm just gonna be putting my dishes away. Loki from the to be out here they need to be where they need to be so i can know where they're at just know that you are loved and you are appreciated even when you don't think you are and that's my thought for tonight i don't even know what i'm making it i'm the kind of person that i just i create things as i go <laughs> so i'm thankful for these potatoes because you know, maybe I wouldn't have had them last week or the week before, but I have them today, so I'm thankful because of the potatoes. Another thing, um, thing, sorry. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm thankful for the pain that I'm feeling because I'm not trying to get too deep or anything, but I mean, this is just me raw i'll be deep every now and then okay <laughs> the reason why i feel pain is because i'm able to feel like my body has the ability to feel things if i didn't feel this pain i wouldn't know that something was wrong so pain is necessary sometimes for you to know that something is not in the right place or something is not working well so I got this um, thing here now, so hopefully, and that's another thing I'm thankful for, see? Got remedy at home, so, yeah. Potatoes, and the pain, and this thing. Hopefully, fingers crossed, to by tomorrow, I will wake up with no back pain. Hey lovelies, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to another daily vlog. Raspberry and chickpeas are the same, are they not? Roasted red peppers, tahini, lemon juice, water, garlic, spice. Yeah, this is what I want and this is what I need. And I'm gonna spread it on bread. Now that we have our bread toasted somewhat, I'm gonna go in with our base. And mind you, I don't know what I'm doing. I just feel like <laughs> these are good combinations. This is what we looking like. That's so cute. You should have seen me yesterday. Like yesterday was super busy. Damn near worked like nine hours. And today I worked hours not complaining just observing <laughs> going to work and coming back home on a bike has changed my life okay because it's really nice and I've been doing it three days in a row now so I'm gonna keep doing it I it's just I'm gonna incorporate it in my routine my back has been much 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 better what I've been doing is I've been really stretching the floor. I'll lay my back on the floor and I'll put my legs up and I'll rot not rotate but place them to the side while my shoulders are still on the ground. And I do that to the other side and it really stretches your back. This week, one of these days, today's already Tuesday, but one of these days. I, I still have hair left from the braids, the last braids that I did. It was the light brown braids and I did them really nicely and I still have a lot left, a lot of hair. So I'm just going to add up because one, I love the color on me and two, 
I just don't know what else to do with this. <laughs> At the moment, I don't know what else to do with it. I think I never tried doing braids on short hair like this, but I think it's doable. All around my hair is kind of able to grip, so I don't know about, oh, I don't know about here, but I'm going to try my best because that's all I can do. The method that I'm going to do is I'm going to part everything and I'm going to put them, like the partings, I'm going to put them in little rubber bands uh, and then I'm going to braid it. And I will keep it for a good time because I don't know why, but I just feel like I'm looking crazy. I go to work every day looking like this. <laughs> so I mean it's nothing wrong with it it's not to me it's a look it's a bop it really is but I'm just I want something different like I can't put it in a <laughs> good morning guys it is the next day and I just woke up it's currently 8 something <clears throat> My throat hurts. I don't know why. Since it's really early, I'm gonna get up. I mean, I'm already up. <laughs> I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna go grocery shopping. What I realize is we have a lot of emotions and we have a lot of um, feelings, but we can't let them influence our actions. If I'm feeling sad, if I'm feeling upset, that shouldn't stop me from getting my shit together. This is my new skincare routine in the morning cleanser. And this is the Fenty skin. I know that before in the past, it made my skin break. But, surprisingly enough, it hasn't anymore. My, I don't know why. And... I go with hydrogen peroxide. The reason is because I've seen it firsthand. My auntie, she was putting this on her face for some time and she actually light, was able to lighten up certain of her dark spots. But you have to be careful. If you want to do this as well, you have to be careful because <laughs> she was putting it on her face every day and her eyebrows actually turned light brown. <laughs> so. Uh, but obviously you want to apply it to your face with a cotton pad or a cotton pad. Um, and then after that, I just go in with my vitamin C and I use this to massage it because this is like quality and it's bougie. So <laughs> I just use the vitamin C. I think I got this from Marshalls. Like, don't sleep on Marshalls, because Marshalls got the products, okay? I don't care what nobody say. Like, I I was always a stand for Marshalls and Ross. They have nice, it's like a cheaper altar, I think, personally. And then, what else? And then, at the end of everything, to seal it all off. I just go in with the uh, jojoba oil. It doesn't matter what kind of oil is. Um, because you could, I think you could do coconut oil as well, but just something that can seal off or protect everything that you've done on your face. So I've been doing it for four days now and the difference is not much but the only thing is that i see that my face is clear and so i'm gonna continue to do this routine because i feel like it works for me and at night it's pretty much the same thing the only thing that i don't do is put vitamin c that's the only thing i don't do i don't put vitamin c at night i just put it in the morning don't ask me why because don't ask me why last night i drank a detox tea from yogi or yogi 
I like that brand a lot because it's it works for me. <laughs> but also, I just I I'm starting to love not just like I'm starting to love tea in general. And that likes when I make tea for him. It's very impressive because it's rare to me. Like I haven't really seen a lot of guys drink tea like that. So I'm happy that he likes it. So we could drink it together. I didn't even know how to do my and this is the thing. Oh, 2023 is the year to use all of the products that I bought that I never used. <laughs> and be consistent about it. I just feel like 2023 should be a year of consistency because at least for me, when it comes to buying products, um, I'm not able to say I want like something for my hair to grow. I'll use it for two, three days and expect it to work and expect to have my hair into my back, but it don't work like that. You have to really um, be consistent if you want to see progress. So that's what I'm doing now with these products. Like I have a bunch of little things that I never reused. So I'm really set for the rest of the year, kind of. <laughs> like I don't have to buy anything when it comes to skincare. Hopefully, but I'm just gonna try to use up everything if I think that it's beneficial for me. I'll try. Be consistent and I've been really consistent with this routine like it's been four days going on five like I have been consistent I really have and I'm proud if no one is proud of me I have to be proud of me I don't know if I'm doing this correctly but the thing is I don't care I've experienced vitamin C to do is it tightens my skin when it dries off, it has this like sticky consistency and I don't like that and I think that's why that's why I go with the the oil afterwards because it makes it softer when it dries. But it def I definitely feel like the tightening happening. It's like glowing. And okay, take note of these things. Take note of these things. That's my goal to get rid of them. was told that people when they're putting creams and stuff on their faces they should do it upwards because it's good for the skin because if you go in a downward position your face will go down over the years I don't know if that's true but I'd rather be safe than sorry thank you for coming to my TED talk my skin is finished Something like this, a different color, so that I can, you know, 
change my outer a little bit so I'm not always looking bald. Maybe I just want to look bald with a cap on. Fun fact, I got these from Shein. And they're like my favorite. They're high-waisted. I'm going to show you guys. Um, it's been some time though. I think you guys probably see me wearing it. I'm not sure. But I feel like yeah. But the only thing is that they they're like ankle jeans. Can somebody please tell me where I can find tall girl friendly jeans? The last time that I found some tall girl friendly jeans was at H&M, but I can't find them anywhere. For my shoes, I'm going to wear these. Fun fact, I also got them from Shein. I feel like these will last forever. Do you see the thickness of this? It's gonna last me forever. When you buy things, you also wanna make sure that it's worth it. I just hate buying stuff just for one day. So I got my jacket and I have a bag of bags because I don't know how many bags I'll need. So I'll just take the whole thing. And yeah. Let's go take the bus. <laughs> Hey guys, so this vlog is actually longer than I expected, so that's why I'm breaking it into two parts. Um, so yeah, this is the end of this vlog. Stay tuned for the part two. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please make sure you like and subscribe for more. I'll see you.